Damn, didn't I silence this thing? Oh, man. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode, episode 15 of Comics. Are uh, we live? Yes, we are. We are live. Why is it not? Okay. All there right. we that go. Was very, I mean, Took a second to switch the way. I don't, I don't even know. But anyway, welcome back. As I said, to another episode of Comics. This is episode 15 with uh, Nighthawk Plays and myself. Um, there's a lot to talk about. I mean, it's not really a lot to talk about. It's more of an in-depth uh, episode and getting into some things mm. and um, kind of laying out the, the groundworks of what we're going to be doing later on. Um, we, we discuss a lot about Marvel and DC, but we're going to be going like, you know, we'll be diving into uh, indie comics. Yeah. And I kind of want to introduce a new seg segment I just thought of, like literally five seconds ago. Is, uh, <laughs> Things that should be comics and should be in movies as, you know, comic comic renditions and stuff, even based off video games. Uh, for instance, uh, the new game Elden Ring coming out. Yeah. That, that would make a one awesome comic, comic book movie, comic book video. I mean, you know, uh, video series or, you know, Netflix or something like that. Uh, Dark Souls would be awesome. I could see Image Comics really going hand with Dark Souls or maybe even Dark Horse going really good with Dark Souls on that one. And, making it kind of, you know, revolutionary, kind of something what they did with uh, Walking Dead, but with more dark tone, spawnish type, you know, graphic and, and design and stuff like that. I think it would be pretty cool. Now, um, would, but anyway, you, would you yeah. be looking for like a retelling or would you be talking about like a, a extension after the fact with it? No, it could be a retelling. I mean, it, it could be, you know, I think Dark Souls is set up to where there's more than one. Yeah ember that goes through that world to to make change yep and it's kind of set up on a loop uh to where you're an ember and so is everyone else uh that challenges and i think that's important because there's other characters that are that you, when you go out the game that you meet that aren't mm -hmm. you know mindless whatever they are mm -hmm. um mindless undead or whatever and i think that you could tell a lot of stories there they have a lot of characters there to have that have their own stories like the onion knight has its own whole like you know lore and background yeah and there's so much they can do there there's so much they could do there yeah, uh, i like hello. that that's pretty What's cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i think that'd be a fun little segment to introduce uh you know just checking out other games or other even shows and stuff and say hey this could be a really good like comic book it don't even have to be marvel dc i mean i I'm I'm almost there to argue that Marvel and DC aren't good at bringing in uh, other franchises that's not yeah. their own into their world because they're so creative and they're front of what they're doing. Uh, other projects just don't seem to mix and match well um, to me anyway. Uh, when they can't really even get what they're doing cur currently right, you know. I mean, it's like Marvel's working on their animations; they're getting better. Um, if, yeah. DC is working on their films now that they have people from the Marvel universe coming over to help the DC side. They're doing better, um, but I think they just need to stay in their lanes with that. And anything yeah. third party, you know, can be. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Probably. I mean, Dark Horse makes they makes amazing comics. I know they've done a great run uh, from a video game standpoint, coming over with uh, Mass Effect. So that they they did a really good job with that. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, Image with just about everything they do that they, they put their hands on is really well done. So having them take a darker side swing at like a, a Dark Souls or or these these games. I mean, hell, even... Mm, does Witcher have a comic book? I know it came from a book mm -hmm. into a video game, but yeah, like, like take it, take it, taking that route would be very uh, interesting because there's so many properties. I would love to read a Last of Us comic book. I know they got the, the show yeah. coming out on HBO, but kind of taking the, the graphic tale of it um it's kind of like the walking dead in reverse uh, which mm -hmm. would be really mm -hmm. cool and expanding on those stories um in panels would be awesome to say i would i would 100 percent read that yeah and i'll go even further and say if if we if there was a last of us comic it doesn't even have to be about joel and uh, uh what's her name uh, ellie yeah there's so ellie. many different stories it don't have to be about them why don't we get a side story of what happens to other people if there are other survivors, you know, mm -hmm. out there? How did they get that town built in, in the second game and stuff like that? So, you know, things like that would be dope. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I think, and then I think Image Comics is perfect for like Dark Souls or Elden Ring or anything that's from software does because you have Tom <laughs> and Farland toys that can just knock it out the park with, 
with you know statuettes and, and and figurines of the very dark side of that that game you know i'd buy them those things are dope it's nice it's um, nice that mcfallen has uh um hit their stride again i know there was a little low there with the whole baseball was it a card or a ball or something like that after a while but it's nice to have him back i think more parody is uh is better for collectors and and mm-hmm. and for the people creating to to kind of take it to the next level to get more people to buy from them i i love it i love it yeah for sure for sure all right well we're gonna be getting into a few other things uh yeah god of war yeah god of war kind of was pretty dope too so I, I just don't like when they do featurettes and teasers I, I want them to go full tilt you know i understand they do it for promotions of like games that are coming mm-hmm. out and potential movies but man go full tilt the lead-in think, comic book do more yeah. than that yeah or or throw the license out there for amateur comics comic book artists to submit stories and in, in comic books and then cool. pay them you know i mean I, you could pay them half or less than what they would pay you know the original comic book artists <laughs> and stuff have been in the business for a long time and, and i mean with with webtoons which we're going to definitely do almost like a whole episode about um in the near future webtoons is so big right that. now like i mean honestly I'll, I'll go out there and say if there's a bunch of things that marvel has that just kind of died off the market um like Which midnight sun so I'll, I'll go ahead and put that out there because that's kind of <laughs> weird um that kind of died off in the 90s like l- literally and 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 the fact that they're bringing it back in 2022 i'm just like what anyway um so stuff like that you know why not throw it out there and say hey we're doing a contest of who can write you know the best stories uh coming up with a mini series of this and let the people from webtoons and all the amateur art, comic book artists like throw stories that way and they pay them a stipend from it or you know pay them pay them a good bit or pay them royalties however they want to do it i think i think that'd be pretty dope i'd be more into the amateur art the stuff than than even what remotely comes from main marvel or dc it would be cool um, to see what those stories would be about especially from someone that that is outside of the industry doing it but uh yeah, yeah. yeah. what's uh what's sure. on what is on tap officially for today's yeah, today's show. Menu is pretty, it, it's it's not a huge menu but it's we have a lot of in-depth talk yes. about stuff so the comic news is marvel revolution just released uh we'll get into more detail about that later spider-man trailer versus leak rumors 2.0 um the drama that happened on twitter and everywhere else and then the the battle between the fans what the fans want and what marvel gives um what if episode three not being as strong as what if episode one and two but still being very important yes uh to the multiverse um future projections coming out uh of course we like to always give our talks about that uh and couch talk um well, you know where we just kind of shoot the mess and throw bounce ideas back and forth uh, about the comic book universe and uh, what we'd like to see um so as we always talk about like upcoming movies and stuff um we're gonna go a little bit more in depth of what spider-man brings to the table and how this is probably the most important spider-man of the series um marvel revolution being a pseudo marvel mmo uh released on mobile that's doing fantastic uh possibly may steal the top um spot from uh what's that game called rain um, shadow legends or something else no, something you know. anyway, <laughs> i know it's more of an AMP, yeah. exist um yeah i i mean we, no, we talk- the other game the other game oh my god my brain um genshin impact oh there we go. genshin impact if that can if this um, can get a pc port a hundred percent because it's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's such a good I, game i think genshin is holding on to that number one spot because of the pc port and, be, and being able to like really lock down lock down the world of that and it's hitting a lot of anime yeah lovers which is a huge market uh one day i want to kind of get maybe paul or, or one of the guys um from studio blank on to see to 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 run some numbers about how large anime has grown oh yeah i would love that you know from the and then the comic in the manga world which is comics because we do cover those as well which we're going to start covering those at a, at a good bit in part later on down the road into um you know the video games because this is huge you can literally throw cell shading on something called anime and people will buy it <laughs> no matter what it is we can tell because we see steam with those those etchy video games they got going on those nasty kinky ones um bro they hit top sales every time they release and it's like oh, one guy releasing them absolutely i'm dead 
Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, we, um, Frank talked yeah, about Marvel Fra Revolution taking mobile gaming to the next level. You yeah. know, it's it's there. Yeah, and and Frank talked about it too. We're gonna have a little couch talk at the end. Don't forget, I know New Nerd has been in chat Monday. Me and uh, me and Frank as well. But if you have any questions, you want to keep the conversations going. I mean, those much as this is Frank and I going back and forth, you're part of the discussion as well. We see everything and see everything in chat. So if you got any questions, comments, yada yada yada, peel, please feel free. Yeah, for sure. Make sure you guys uh, throw in kinky video games. Lose your life. Uh, worse <laughs> than that. That that was our yeah. childhood. Like slap on the wrist. These things yeah, are no. Bro, these these you you, you know what? I'll just put it to you like this. There's there's combos in Street Fighter V. There's combos in these kinky games. Uh, and I don't know from experience, <laughs> I just saw the little flash images that they pop up, and I was just like, what in the world is going on? And why are people buying this? But it's always in the top sales every single month. One guy releases them, uh, and people buy them. They're just, I mean, honestly, it's just modded video games at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, uh, what happened this past week is, like, it's, like we said, Spider-Man rumors and leaks. Uh, trailer in week one, um, the Spider Madness between leaks and fake leaks and and fan f made favorites and stuff people trying to get petitions and all that weird junk is just dumb also today is so the years much. uh first is the anniversary of chadwick boseman's uh death um which a lot of people are paying owed to chadwick boseman probably one of the hardest hitting deaths i'm i'm <clears throat> i'm not wishing i don't wish death on anybody but i wonder is chadwick boseman that like he's been the most celebrated um person in a long time i want to so say man you're 100 percent right i just as soon yeah. as you said that my thought in my head was i don't remember a celebrity or an individual that has been constantly brought up in almost mm. daily conversation as mm. much as chadwick boseman passing like for me a couple of years ago i'm a huge fan uh, of robin williams his comedy i mm. got i was lucky enough to meet him a couple of times like he's he was i know he had his demons but uh, just just someone that was amazing but like it was like a week or two and then on his anniversary and that's it but with with Chadwick I feel like it, it's like if, if not every other day like you're there's something that pops up in our culture and our everyday talk that he's we're reminded of him and it, we bring him up I like you said mm. I can't think of anyone else like this it's it's yeah. sad it's incredible it's a bunch of different words he was yeah I mean to be so young uh and and you know to die so young he touched a lot of people's lives and he's done a lot uh, i think that just marks the idea of being a very good individual who stands up for what they believe in and touch so many people's lives and, and to be remembered that way we can only hope and dream to be remembered like that you know i mean it's 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 pretty unreal it's pretty unreal um but we'll we'll get into more of that a little bit later um but yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. It's a pretty, it was a pretty, pretty large week of a lot of things. Um, a lot of things dropped. Some things I ignored because I was just like rolling my eyes half the time because people were just being weird. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's what we're getting into. Um, so I guess we could just go into uh, Spider Man trailer. We might as well do it. I mean, it's like the biggest thing I think that happened this week. Um, if you guys haven't seen the Spider Man trailer, that it did come out. I don't think. I personally feel like Kevin Feige and team didn't want to release it this early. It's doing something along the lines of merging multiple, hence why you get, uh, hence why you get Doc. O Go back to where Here. he's talking in the, in the frozen, back, 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 back a little the bit wink. more. The uh, wink? Go back a little bit more. All right, because there is going to be a slight delay, so pass this. Uh, all right, let it play a little bit. Okay, Wong. Now he's looking at Wong, Doctor Strange. Right I there, pause, pause, pause. Doctor Strange is like looking, yeah, with full body Doctor Strange, almost full body. When he's standing in there frozen, yeah. That? Oh, let me look. Wait yes. For it. Pause right there. All right, cool. Go ahead, keep talking. Oh, I, 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 I pretty much finished, and then now we're here. <laughs> um, did anybody notice his like North Face jacket that he has on? Yeah, the blue North Face. It's the same with color. The, like with, the, with the cape. It's still a cape in the towel. <laughs> he still has it, <laughs> yep. In a hoodie. I just thought that was the most hilarious thing ever. I, and he's I, walking I don't around know. in sweatpants, too. If you, if you go back even further, he's just walking yeah, around in sweatpants. I, I'm very confused. Um, It almost looked like there were two different Doctor Stranges in this movie. I don't think there mm. are. But him in, him in this laxed state right here looks very chill. 
but the one on the train didn't look like this dude a hundred and ten percent even when you look at um this dr strange in his full garb if you if, i mean it's kind of hard to see on here but well, when you look at the, the same when you look at the color tones and palettes yes this one is the same we'll get, but when we'll you to get train. to yeah. wait for it when you get to it's right before this when you get to this one i don't think that's the dr strange that this. we know this, this is one. this is a different dr strange his hair his eyebrows and his the 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 color tone um is, in is, his is old different outfit I think it's I think this is me personally this is this is a multiversal or a spider versal Wait, and strange. he has the infinity stone well this this mm -hmm. one has it here too this one has it here too he has the eye of Agamotto yeah we don't believe oh, okay, the infinity okay. well I don't believe the infinity stone is in it but he they both are wearing the eye of eye of Agamotto I believe it's uh uh yeah, pronounced but yeah it's kind of weird. Oh, I wonder. I don't know. I, I have so many questions that I don't want answered into the movie. I know you don't like. You. I'm actually surprised like that we're talking it down, about this. I could literally yeah. break this thing down into pieces, <laughs> but I, I'm trying my best. Um, uh, the biggest thing, also, he 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 does he does the 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 spiritual push out of Peter Parker. Now he's like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Because so you like, know, I think he's super confused as to where he is and who he is. Yeah, he's in a shirt and tie. So he did receive assets from Tony Stark when Tony Stark died. I don't I mean, like I said the... I don't want to go too much into it but right, if you look yeah, at this apparently down, but... the shoes the pants and everything are exactly what Toby wore yeah, but I, I see that too yeah I see that too um so I, I wonder but he is in the Tony Stark suit yes he is in that suit correct which I thought got destroyed at the end of Far From Home or There's he didn't have suits. it anymore. Well, because he's he's Tony Stark, uh, uh, Peter Parker now. He obviously has the asset. Breaking it down. He looks CG <laughs> as hell. I'm not gonna lie, man. Ock looks CG. Anyway. Well, I mean, I mean, we got the trailer breakdown that was that was leaked that you and I both saw, and it was previs. There was no CGI. It was all green screen, gray screen, blue screen, everything. And then yeah. two days later, three days later, it came out. Uh, they this the movie as of right now. Is still set for Christmas, so you still have all of September, all oh, of November, Christmas. Uh, all of November, yeah. and part of December to 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 clean up even more of the visual effects. I will say that Alfred Molina looks a hundred times better than Luke Skywalker's Mark Hamill. Oh yeah, horrible job in Mandalorian. There is yeah, still yeah, that yeah, yeah. uncanny valley there, but you still have three months to fix it up, essentially. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And um, you know, it it's Marvel always does magic. We 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 know how good they are with visual effects. It did, even if they have ugly ass Electro come out and Jamie Fox is just looking like a, a whole dish of Jello. It, you know, it's not going to stop me from watching or being happy about the movie. Now, the real question is: is are we going to go out to the movie theater to see this if they don't allow it streaming? Because this is one of the movies that you don't allow streaming. At the end of the day, I, I want you? them to stream it because I don't want to go to the movies. But if I'm Marvel and about money. And my box office is not doing good. Let's say Shang-Chi doesn't do well in box office because everybody wants to stream it. This broke records as the the, the teaser trailer hit of, of the century, of, of whatever, of the years of MCU. Yeah. You put this thing in theaters and you don't let that shit stream until like about a month later, right? You do that because people are going to go out and risk COVID to see Spider-Man at this point. That's what I'm thinking. If I'm the marketing manager, I'm like, yep, people are going to get sick, but... Mm put it in theaters yeah and, you i know i wouldn't I, do that personally but if i was all about money you know that that's what that would be my thing yeah i I, po I popped off about this on my stream the other day um mm. <laughs> so this came out um i think it was monday or tuesday whenever cinecon one does there was a bunch of information that came out from cinecon from sony warner brothers and um and marvel as well and one of the big things that was a topic at cinecon was the president or CEO of Sony said, we are not going digital. We think digital is the not way to go for movies. 100%, we are not going. And I, oh. I, Josh was in, I'm sorry, Ellswood was in my chat. I popped off. And and it's, I, I can't, I'm not going to say what I said, but, Bro, but what Sony I'm saying is, is drilling a hole right now. Yeah, what I they said is. They think that Venom is yeah. going to do good in the movies? That's why they that keep ain't going to do back. good digital. Yeah, that's why they keep on pushing it back. And and the reason being is, and I get it. Like as as a business owner, I get it. Right? You're doing you, you if if your household. You no 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 no. Listen, your household and my household. 
if everything was fine in the world, I know we have to take that into example, but if you and I were going to go to the movies, that's between us. Let's say, I, I, I don't know how much it is by you, but just, just an, uh, let's, let's just say an average. You're spending a minimum of $40 for tickets. 20 for you, 20 for your wife, 20 for me, 20 for my wife. At home, oh. it's 30 bucks flat fee. So for like, if, if you talk about it that way, they're losing out on money, on multifamilies, on though? group gatherings. Dude, I would if I could, if Let's it wasn't a pandemic, I'm gonna drop, hey, all, I'm gonna have a block party and show up Let's spider man in my house. how many people go to the movie solo and duo though and how much money potentially they lose on that when a person goes solo and duo by the movie that's 30 bucks you're getting three people out of one person essentially if it's a 10 dollars ticket so it's just like you offer both like options are always money makers at the end of the day if you offer both you're gonna get what you potentially would have got out of me 10 bucks or 20 bucks you're getting 30 off the market I, i'm not buying i'm bringing my own food and candy in my purse man purse whatever i gotta do <laughs> my sour so patch like, kids from okay. home i'm not spending 20 dollars on sour patch right kids. i love spider-man but i'm damn sure not spending 50 dollars on the spider-man cup that's gonna get washed off in the next two years anyway so i'm not doing that Gosh, you're right so it's just like okay thirty dollars available it's an option let the people go out there that wants to contract COVID and, and have mutations happen to their lives let them go out there and experience a movie but i want to be at home watching digital i, I agree. ain't about to invite 50 people over my house with COVID being around if my mom and my I dad know, come great they're not into comic book movies like that so it's just like i mean if you me, look at if you look at the examples too right mm -hmm. i just hit space did i mess up anything no i didn't okay so uh if you look at the examples godzilla right you can't put it on the mark you look at um wonder woman i mean it was just i i love gal gadot but she, it was just a bad movie right if it was a digital i wouldn't watch it i mean if you look at if you look at black widow i'm sorry i don't think it would have done as good if it was just in theaters i think that's no, that, it that, that have, bro. it was it was opening weekend was 80 million box office 60 digital and then i forgot what the total was global that's 60 million uh, probably a quarter of that maybe i uh, definitely not half i mean i, mean, I wouldn't call it. like 60 million ain't a lot of money like what the what are these people thinking? Sony, yeah, but we but, all know that you suck at making decisions. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you not? Do, I'm going to say this right now. I love Sony a lot. I'm a big Sony fanboy. But at the end of the day, your Carnage Venom movie, that I would not go out and see that if someone paid me to go out and see it. I would watch it digital where I pay you. So well, yeah. why would you take that option away from me? If you want a day one sale, make it digital. I'll watch it day one because I run. We, we we both run this show to where we, yeah. we're going to talk about it. But that's going to be put off weeks and probably months. And heck, I might even wait until it's free on Netflix before I watch it at this point. Because like yeah. if you're stripping options from people, that's telling me you don't give a crap about a couple of things. You don't care about my safety. You don't give a crap about what your audience thinks. And to me, that's not a good business move. You can be a mecha monster all you want, but people are just wishing, hoping, dreaming that Disney buys up the rights to yeah. Spider-Man and Venom so you don't have it. So it's just, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I think yeah. I think what some of this may contingent upon on is part of Shang-Chi coming out next week to see how well or not well that does in the box office. And I hate that this is going to be the barometer because I, it is yep. from all the reviews that I've read, it's non-spoiler reviews. I mean, it is a really good movie. Yeah. Uh, like Marvel yep. hit the nail on the head again, but yep. it's just unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I it's just, see it. But the other part of it too, is the Scarlett Johansson part of it. Like, 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 see, but you, like, yep. but when I'm looking at it, I'm on the side of Marvel that they released it on digital, not on her. Um, okay. Suing them, but, but she's not mad about the digital release. It's the She's financial mad that she part was lied of it. To. Oh, she, so yeah, I don't know the exact parameters around it. I am okay, sorry. So pretty much she was lied to about the digital release coming out the same day as the box office release because of money. Yeah, so it is money. Pay yeah. the woman because there would be no Black Widow if it wasn't for jo Scarlett Johansson. As dumb as Scarlett Johansson has been in the, in the past about saying dumb stuff, yeah. she is my Black Widow, just like everybody else is, and we love her in that position. You pay the woman for her services. You don't just sit there and be yeah. like, hey, we're just going to release this in the box house later on. You pay this woman royalties for every sale that goes every out. Every single penny that goes out, she deserves that's royalties. That's her contract. It says that. So that's why she's suing them and lose. But I think Marvel is just like, all right, cool. We're going to prove to you that digital makes you money that we didn't pay you, apparently, or pay you enough of. But we're going to prove to you that digital makes money, and we're going to do it with Shang-Chi. And, and they're probably trying to prove a point to investors and whoever else there is. I don't know. And, and make a statement. I think digital yeah. 
there's a lot of good things that came out of the p pandemic. A lot of bad things came out of the pandemic, but a lot of good things because people would never have explored this option because they're too worried about pirating. They're too worried yeah. about people putting it online and stuff. Now that's why copyright is this. Hire people, create jobs, hire people to do the research for you. You know, you know what I would do, honestly, if I was a mega millionaire, I would, if I worked at Sony or Marvel, I would say, all right, we're going to hire these people that constantly data mine us and find shit and leaks. Yeah. We're going to hire them to do the same right? to find other people doing it and reverse it on them. Yeah. And, and, and make this more secure. That way we can have digital stuff and we can have nice things. Yeah. Because look at Mulan. Mulan wouldn't have done nothing if it wasn't digital, bro. That, I that agree. movie was not good. Um, but at the end of the day, it had so many superstars in it. People were like, I'm going to watch it digital. Yep. And digital, they may not offer me. I never would have seen it in the theater. Digital, so, digital is going to be... A, 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 digital is a godsend for for, for, yeah. for theaters. Yeah. Not theaters. Not theaters, knows. excuse me. For, uh, for, for movie publishers. I mean, like, I understand it's art. I will, you know, being at home, I'll never get the experience of seeing the Star Wars scroll in an IMAX theater. Like, I get it. I love theaters, but... The way you the got world TVs is that are really big, <laughs> projection. <laughs> I have a big yeah. wall. <laughs> yeah. That's no, how I'm yeah. about it. No, I, dude, I'm. Me and you are definitely on the same plane. And it's when I read that, and and because I didn't hear it because it was Cinecon. Like when I read that, I was, I was thoroughly it's, disappointed in in the executives over at Sony for makes for even stating that because, like you said, they don't care about us. They're putting their their money instead of our well being, yeah. and they don't see the big picture. Can't they don't see the, the dead, for, they don't see the forest. Okay. I, I, this this has been coming up a lot, but they can't see the forest through the trees because yeah. like we're we're they're so antiquated in their old ways that it they don't see what the next five to ten years looks like, and it sucks. It really does. I'll tell you this right now, and I'm gonna throw this idea to the wind. And if anybody makes money off of it, you know, contact me at least. Give me percentage, please. If you want me to, I'm gonna say this today, August 28th, 2021. If you want me to go to the theater, Marvel, Sony, whoever, then you better create a theater with boxed in seats with air conditioning that I could sit in and view the movie without, with, with being safe that are sanitized and clean on the daily. Create a theater that's safe because I'm gonna be honest with you. This world is, we we, we don't wanna go back to what the world was because that's why we're in a predicament we're in now. We wanna go forward. So make things forward disgusting proof at the end of the day. We have all this futuristic shit. Tesla's making a damn robot for God's sakes to pick up groceries. <laughs> yeah. Why is that a thing? What? Why can't we make things that are more, I mean, uh, they can say that's that safe way to shop because we care about people's lives. That's, that's bull crap because Elon Musk don't give a damn about masks. But anyway, at the end of the day, why can't we just create safe environments to where we can go out there and enjoy that stuff? Bring drive-in theaters back then. Make, bring that back. Make them have the technology. We have the technology to make them better than what they are. If you really want people to go out, I'm still not going to go out. See, that's the point. It's like, it doesn't matter what they do. This world has to understand on a corporate level that things are not going to ever go back to what they used to be. Thank goodness. Make options available that's beneficial to both you and the consumer because that's the only time you're going to make money. People are getting way more prone to this business stuff. The yeah. more social media and the internet evolves, the more we're going to know about the behind the scenes. The reason why we were so ignorant before is because we didn't spend time diving into this stuff because we never had to think about it. So we you're not going to out fool the consumer anymore. <clears throat> Play the play the game. Create avenues to where you're always on top and the consumer is following, not the opposite way around. That's how I feel about it. But anyway. I agree. I don't I know, agree. man. It's ridiculous. Hop off, sis. But it, it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm happy for Spider-Man. I can't wait. If it's only going to be in the theaters, I won't be seeing it day one. That hurts because I've seen every Spider-Man multiple times day one. Um, hell, I've seen every Marvel movie multiple times day one. And, it, you know, besides Midnight the ones that are not digital. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we can talk about that all freaking day. I, I really, I know it's going to do well. This is a, this is a big, this is probably the biggest career thing for Tom Holland to date. Because if he, if it's knocked out of the park, I know he knocked it out of the park. Russo brothers love that kid. He is yeah. taken care of for the rest of his life. He's good. As long as he wants to act, he's good. But at the end of the day, this is the last contractual, you know, position for him in the original MCU contract mcu slash sony contract 
I honestly believe that Disney's about to drop a bomb of money on top of Spider-Man because you don't set up the Sinister Six without having a Sinister Six. What the hell? Like, Very true. There's got to be more films involved. So I believe they're sitting in meeting rooms right now talking. They ha- and they I believe have the be, film man. success on this really depends on if Disney's going to be like, you know, we're just going to buy Spider-Man back. And if not, hopefully they should be like, we'll just buy Sony. I, I, I know that's not going to happen, but it'd be funny. For me. It'd be hilarious. Um... So that's what I'm hoping for. Big, big cross fingers on that. I want Tom Holland to be Spider-Man for another six years. He's so honestly. Good. He's so good. Uh, he's he's nothing but he has nothing but growth. Yeah. Uh, all right, moving on, Matt. Let's see what we got. Uh, uh Marvel Revolution. What if? Oh, actually, is it what if? Yeah, let's do what if before we do Marvel Revolution. Yeah. That's a huge segment for yeah. Revolution. Um, yeah. What did you think about episode three? Um, episode three. Uh, obviously this this one spoiler alert. If you haven't watched episode three yet, you can go to Disney Plus and watch it. All the first three episodes there. Um, you had the first episode that was based around Peggy Carter and the whole Captain America change up. Uh, the second episode was oh my god, why am I drawing a blank? Yes, Star Lord T'Challa. Yeah, Chadwick Boss. How can I forget about that? <laughs> um, and then obviously this week's episode was more of. What if the Avengers didn't become the Avengers? If if there was a uh, uh, someone out there trying to take them down before they could be- become the 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 heroes that we thought of today uh, mm. because of past lives and um it was it was I loved the 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 drawing once again the action I it was a weird one for me because at the end in I like I understand. I mean, just spoiler alert now, once again. Um, I understand why they had Pym uh, go out and do those things and the idea around it and how he can hack in because he is that smart. But I just felt so different from the first two. And mm-hmm. and as much mm-hmm. as I did enjoy it, um, I think you said it earlier or you, we said it beforehand. I do agree with you. I don't think it was as strong. It was still good. The story mm-hmm. was good. I didn't like how they kept on showing the watcher in the background of everything looking over again. They did it way too many times in my opinion, but, yeah, but yeah. I, I, I don't think it was as strong. I did like though, how they did give Loki that presence there and how strong he was. And if his brother went down, what he would do for his family and, and taking over um, earth. Like I enjoyed that, but once again, going back to it and I don't want to steal your thunder, but I don't, I don't think it was, it was, it, you know, out of the first three episodes, it was number three out of the list. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, to, to be honest with you, Watcher was in all, all those episodes as much as we didn't like it in three. I think why you noticed it more is because three wasn't strong. Probably. There was a lot of dead periods in three. I'm, yeah. I'm, in, in Peggy Carter and then T'Challa, we... We were just mesmerized by what's happening that we didn't really notice the watcher and then and they did they hit him a lot better you know that driving scene where you seen him i thought it was cute you know I was yeah. just like oh it's kind of looney tuny it's how they, you know whatever but they're trying to this felt like a filler uh honestly it, just, it felt like a filler episode of an anime that you would watch that you're kind of like eh, yeah you're okay, right i'll watch it you know um they did a, a really good job with recreating the movie scenes from each yes. movie that was involved in this like really good job um but it was i think the deaths were so sudden and so nonchalant and even though they were honored it's kind of it was just like no one gave a shit about them like i mean i know it was before they became something bigger and i understand that's Mm -hmm. the importance of it but it was just like fairy just didn't give a shit I felt like it was yeah, like yeah. his compassion. I understand that he's supposed to be somebody that's like really hardened and lost a lot of people. And, you know, it's kind of like an everyday thing for him. But damn, I'm just like. What? I understand <laughs> like it was supposed to be Fury before he really becomes the Fury that we know. But yeah, he yeah, was yeah, yeah, he yeah. was definitely more vested in these characters um, in the movies than it was in here. Right. Now, it could be because it wasn't, you know. I mean, hundreds of hours theory. or it, or maybe because yeah different fury or it's just yeah. because they had to condense it but i will say i do liked how they incorporated the deaths like it was ones that would actually make sense even though i don't i didn't necessarily like who was doing it i like i like i like hulk exploding like that was actually really funny i thought that was actually uh, I, like that was cool like i like <sighs> that aspect of it i like how it was like I never miss, I never let go. Like what was it? Like that stuff I liked. Yeah. Like and how they made it. Like I was like, oh shit, this actually makes sense. 
like like someone could have actually even though the we know what it was sense. The villain made sense, I mean, yeah, but I, I liked the, I liked the, the Bruce death. Banner shit didn't make sense to me. I like I understand he was trying to take people away from Fury, but see, this is where my pause comes in. Those people weren't important to Fury. It was like Hank had to know, or the villain, I should say, had to know what was going to happen in the future for them to be... I, I, I was really confused about that. And yeah, he probably had technology. I don't know, because quantum, whatever, leaps and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, Great I was show. just like... He was very obsessed with his wife in the films, MCU films. He was very obsessed with her. He was... I mean, the whole point of him trying to do all this quantum leaping and stuff was to go back and find her because she was stuck, right? Yeah. So yeah. I understand that he was obsessed and crazy and, and going through doing it, but... The premise was interesting, but then I write it off and I'm like, yeah, it's a multiverse type thing. All right, cool. It's not our MCU. Glad yeah. it wasn't because, you know, so I kind of write it off as that. It just wasn't as strong. And I think it's because it wasn't heartfelt. Everything was heartfelt. Peggy Carter stuff was very heartfelt, relatable. A lot of yeah. women wanted, you know, being a woman in power back then, what they would have gone through, uh, how, you know, Peggy being as strong or, or even more, maybe more mentally balanced than Steve Rogers because she was more mature and yeah. it was in a, in, a, in a place of power before being in a place of power where yeah. Steve Rogers was nowhere near in a place of power and just becoming in, in Steve Rogers and how he is um, and still wanting that power of fi and, and, yeah. and still dealing with the depression of feeling lost and not anybody and, and still being like in the shadow of Bucky. Which which was really cool. That that one had a lot of like, wow, I can see this is really cool. Yeah. This is something I can ask. No one asked the question of what if the Avengers were all killed. Nobody answered that. Or not all of the Avengers, but the start of Avengers were killed. And no one really asked that question because nobody wanted that. Nobody wanted to ask that question. And I think that's why this episode is not as strong, but it's still important because we're like, hey, what if they were were killed? Yeah. And what if everyone wanted to see President Loki? Well, here you got there you him. Go, like, yeah. You got King Loki. All right, so. What if he took over? Would it have been a better place to be controlled from the star front? And then I it, love it, his it lines, yeah. Right? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe Loki's not as bad as we thought. So, you know, but I already wrote off that episode. Yeah. I'm like, I want the next what if. Yeah, give me the next I, you one. You know, it's like, you know, so I think it's also because we kinda know. I think oh uh oh yeah, with uh with Cap, right? And Captain Mark both caps yep. actually, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, like it's it's the, still the Steve Rogers cap. Yes, Steve Rogers cap, yeah. and with Captain Marvel down there too. Uh -huh. There's, uh, I'm still trying to figure out how they're gonna tie these all in at the end, or if they literally are just gonna keep them one. Like, each episode is a one shot. Like my idea was each episode was a one shot, but for some reason, one way, shape, form, or another, they would bring these characters together into like a last mm. episode but the more i've now watched these three i'm kind of thinking that the it's just literally going to be one shots there's going to be I, there's the idea around it where it is kind of like the it twilight zone with lot two. two um but it, it has a season two and they've said kevin feige has phys physically said that these characters will eventually show up in in live action so we could get I think certain Hel characters going to show up like Helly maybe Peggy carter i think peggy carter Helly atwell that's is actually, it Atwell? Actually no. now no, Haley Atwell is the lead singer of Paramore, isn't it? Anyway, like her bringing back Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger, because I think that's the next episode with him and Tony Stark, which I, would be I awesome. Think, I think Killmonger is definitely coming back uh, because there's Killmonger, the way he was killed off in Black Panther, I, lo yeah. I love Black Panther, one of my favorite films, but Killmonger is such a big person in in, in Marvel in general. I was just like, he's got to be coming back, man. Yeah. Like, and the, the ending kind of got me on that. I was like, mm. so we may see Killmonger come back in Black Panther Wakanda forever, not as an enemy, but as an ally. We may. Um, it could happen. There's and that so could many be the things. Killmonger from What If? And I'm down for that. Like, But they can't have every character come back. Obviously, we lost T'Challa. So yeah. obviously, we're not going to get him. Um, Peggy Carter, I can see because of Loki, the, the maybe Pe Peggy Carter walking through the portal. Yep. That could have been right before the events. I don't know, but I doubt it because she would have already been Captain Britain or whatever she was. Um, and uh, 
yeah, I don't know. But we'll see. Uh, you know, I, I hope they introduce some characters from the multiverse. Just don't bring them all. Like, I, I, it'd be too much overload for me uh, to deal with the what-if cast, because I'm just like, mm, that's cool. Oh, that's cute. Uh, yeah. Heartfelt, you know? Peggy Carter, I'm down for. But And I, we may get Peggy Carter, because I believe... The Tesseract event could be I, I don't want I don't know what Earth that is, but I wonder, but they knew when she came through the portal. Yeah. He was like, Welcome. <laughs> yeah, he so, goes, oh, oh, wait, who are you? And then yeah, Hawkeye says, That's that's Captain Carter, sir. Like they they yeah. obviously know of her. Welcome it's been seven years in the future or whatever yep. he says. Yeah. But I like I like New Nerd what he said. I think this episode would have been stronger at the front. Kill off the Avengers and explain what if. Um, I do, but once again, would we have thought it as impactful? Um, as I, these I think other two, views. and and I also th I also think it would have lost yeah. views, but and we just literally came off of Loki, and you've brought him in again right off the rip. There is a reason, a rhyme and reason to it, and I do yeah, like yeah, Frank's yeah. take of this is kind of the filler, and I think these next uh, six or seven episodes are really going to be hitting home on on a lot of different um, intriguing stories. Yeah, BRM, that would be interesting, Aunt May. Actually, no. I mean, there, there were, there were the, like the side stories of that. Um, but I really like we're gonna get what if, what if we're gonna get the what if zombies. So like, how the hell are you? Gonna, no, this has got to be like they are. Certain episodes are one shots. Certain episodes are gonna, I maybe lead into a tie in at the end. But the zombie series is so big in I Marvel, know. and I, I don't like them. But you know, Fury's they are very, own. very big. I mean, Zombie Captain America is a thing, thing. Um. A very big and and Wolverine actually so yeah uh, you know I I'm I'm just waiting for the the mutant gene to come into the MCU I'm really man they have the chance to knock everyone off their socks if they bring in X Men the correct way man like they just need they don't even have to do a, a formal introduction if we see a bunch of lightning coming down and this storm coming in bro and she looks great people are gonna lose their crap. And they can even do it at the end of a movie. At, at, maybe at the end. No, nah, I wouldn't say at the end of Spider-Man. But, you know, at the end of one of these movies coming up. Maybe even Eternals. I think e Eternals would be the perfect Eternals makes, makes, makes the most sense. Right? At the end of e Eternals, whatever happens, and you just see Storm coming out. Or you could just see the claw of, of Wolverine come out. <laughs> yeah. I, I would lose my shit. I would just lose it, and I'd be super happy, and then I wouldn't mind uh, Charles, whatever his name is, what's that dude name that plays uh, Xavier? Charles Xavier? Uh, uh, G um, I forgot his name. Not dude, Char uh, the old guy or the young guy? The old guy. Charles Stewart. Pa C Captain yeah, Charles Stewart, Picard, yeah. yeah. He, that man is ever living, I swear to God, oh, he's he a natural relic. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I would, I, that dude, he, he is Xavier, man. Yeah, like, there is no there else, ain't nobody that looks so much like a comic book character that wasn't made after them as much as he does. <laughs> so I would love a uh, Patrick Stewart. Patrick that's Stewart, it. Patrick yes, Stewart. Excuse me, I would sorry. love to see Patrick Stewart. What did I say, Charles? Ball Stewart? Head come back in the mix. I don't think I think we're mixing like Charles and Charles Xavier. Xavier Stewart, and, but yeah. anyway, at the end of the day, Patrick Stewart coming in will be dope. If okay, so we yeah. have we have Eternals, we have Spider Man, and we have Doctor Strange as the next three. If you had to put your money, or or um, I don't know if he said uh, a gentleman's bet, um, mm. what would you say you would get um, the instance of the of 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 mutants, whether it's a physical appearance or an explanation of hey, this is potentially it, it have to be it would have to be Eternals because they're they're there like Eternals is there to answer those blank spots for us the why the why's like why weren't you there for this why didn't you think that this was important they they were visiting different time loops they were visiting different areas different places they had to have seen somebody with some kind of powers they they gave technology essentially to to humans so to speak they taught humans yeah. things so I wonder if they they one of them had to have and they're in different parts of the world apparently so one of them had to have seen a mutant gene something there yeah uh, and, you know and and if not that then uh maybe blade, blade yeah, but we, have, to but do we with... have no idea when blade's gonna be coming out i yeah, I, yeah. I agree with you on the eternals but i'm kind of worried that they're going to be shoehorning too shoehorning too much into too much. that because it, you, that's you already what I'm saying. it just you, needs to be a teaser you got you got you got them already explaining in the tra trailer 
um, essentially what's going to happen in the movie and and who they are if you're a comic book fan with the 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 world hosts and a celestial being born the 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 blip bringing out all this cosmic energy which could lead to a mutation right but I, I feel like a lot of answers for future stuff especially knowing that Kang they are going the route that he is Reed Richards son um cuz mm -hmm. his name was um something Richards I forgot what he said his name was yeah, yeah, yeah. um Nathan Nathan Richards Yeah like I What's... I want to say that it's going to be Doctor him. Strange and it's going to be either but... directly impacting the movie or because it's the multiverse something happens in an end end scene tease Maybe. Um, I, 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 I would say out of the three, it's that one. But because I just feel like it's too much for Eternals. There's so much stuff going on well, that we, we have to learn. I don't want it explained at all because Mutant Gene is old as hell. Let's True. just be real. It's really old. It's, it's, it's older than the Avengers and all the events that's happened. So, and I also mean, movie wise, that go back too. to the dinosaur agents, man. Like, there's mutants yeah. that's been around since then. I, I mean, mean, Logan's the been around since 1800. Egyptians. Yeah, the Egyptians have, have yeah. mutants. Um, and then that leads into Africa and all that stuff. All the people that thought they were just shamans, those were mutants. Like, everyone that had mythical powers based off of religion were mutants. Hell, yeah. It goes to angelic times that mutants were around. Uh, you True. Know, dealing with the, the demons and the gods and all that stuff and the people making babies between that. Those were all mutant gene. That's when mutant genes start popping up all over the place. So it's just kind of like, and we'll get into that with, uh, with Lilith and, and, her, and her role in this new game. But it's, it's like... I just need an end teaser, a little thing. It could be Wolverine's Claw. I don't want Wolverine's Claw. That's been done so much. But, I mean, I, I really want Storm to just come in and just show lightning or something like that. And they just show her thigh. They just need to show, like, a leg with the outfit. They, They've done it before. She could, she They've could done be it before. What? And the yeah. lightning be in the, I mean, the light, she could be in the forefront blurred in the camera. Yeah. And the lightning be, like, the focus or her leg be the focus and the lightning be blurred or whatever at the end. And they don't have to revisit that for another year or two. Yeah. Because that's already like oh my god what the fuck you know people people eat it up and they could just eat up on that hype and people will spend money on every movie into in that day multiverse could work it could work but i want i want the mutant gene to have always been a thing yes while all these events for, events for the avengers was happening but and i then... would love for the <sighs> x-men films to revisit those times and we see what the hell they were doing during this what battles they were fighting yeah it's the easy route for marvel but I, I don't know. We'll see. See, I she feel like that, I see. I feel like listen, <laughs> listen, man. Whoever they pick to play Storm, I don't want it to be. I love you, Haley Berry, but I don't want it to be you. I think uh, I think it's come to the point where if if they're good, when when they start bringing in X Men characters, Fantastic Four characters. I mean, we've already saw the rumors about you know Fantastic Four being not being cast, but in the process of being cast. What they're looking for. I I don't think that they are going to be bringing back anyone old unless they're going to use like a multiverse kind of like homage kind of like honor to them Dude, like yeah, I, as much no as I love you Jackman I there's no inkling that leads me to believe that well, he's going to come back you with somebody I don't know if that guy walked out of the contract or the contract got canceled due to like time but they they I know Fox replaced Hugh Jackman with somebody that looks like I forgot the guy's name, but he he's not a very well known actor, but he looks the part of Wolverine. I know that was what they were going for, um, but and that could have got all flipped around once once Disney bought because I know Marvel's gonna do their own goddamn cast. Yeah. They're not gonna keep no casting from Fox, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I, I we just know that if if it's in Kevin Feige's hand, he's gonna do Justice X Men, and it's gonna look great. And I'm very, very excited for it. Um, but do you introduce that? While in, I don't think you introduce X-Men until Phase 4. I, you got to get Fantastic Four out of the way and then do X-Men. In my eyes, that's, that's what you need to do because X-Men's franchise is a monster in its own that needs to have their own like spotlight. Oh, I don't yeah, think absolutely. they need to be cameoed in as sidekicks to the Avengers world that's going on right now. They need to get a world that's built. We need to be introduced to each character with new with new um, with new actors involved, whether they're up and coming amateur actors or been around forever. I, I think that needs its own world to breathe because you're not going to land big time actors and actresses if you're just going to have them cameo it into something that's already done. They're not going to yeah. want that because the first of all, the demand for money is going to be too huge because when you know you land a Marvel film, you know you're going to get rich and famous. Number two, 
people need redemption for what Fox slaughtered, as they always yeah. done in the past. So it's just like, you need to build that rep. They can't have a DC Justice League, no offense. They can't have that with, with, with X-Men, or we're just going to get another bomb in the box office, and people are just not going to believe in X-Men anymore. Yeah, um, I, think, I think, you know what, you brought something up and I was looking at it. So we are in Phase 4, and actually Eternals is going to be the first movie that I believe, because I don't think Shang-Chi actually takes place in phase four. It's technically still phase three. Like I think it's mm -hmm. pre-blip or pre-end game. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say Eternals is going to be the first movie that takes place after the events of, well, second movie because of Far From Home. Uh, but I guess directly in incorporating Marvel. Yeah, Eternal, uh, yeah, Eternal's like, definitely, Eternals happens, definitely after happens after the blip happens, and the revival. Yeah, yeah it happens yeah. after revival. And the revival, yeah. So so as far as Shang-Chi goes, I'm not 100% sure when it takes place. I'm, I don't think it's after I the say, blip. I think it's pre-blip. I don't know, I have to see it. But yeah, it, I think it, it's pre-blip. Because I know obviously the things in uh, on Disney Plus have been post. Everything has been post on Disney Plus. Um, hmm. th this, however, is the question mark. Black Widow was obviously a way, way prequel. Shang-Chi, yeah. uh, I, I honestly don't know. It's either 50-50. I'll probably Google it. But I know Eternals is 100% after because outside yeah. of that would be, what, 20, 2019? Far From Home was post-blip, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, because that came That's out right after came back in the yeah. school. And then everything the got the weirdest post-blip co yeah. scene ever. But yeah, it was them. Nobody gave a shit. Everybody was like, hey, hugs. I'm just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be flipping out, bro. Like. But anyway, yeah, it was all pre, it was all post blip, um, oh post revival, post revival, yeah, post revival, um, yeah. Well, like I said, you know, I I, I can't wait. I hope X Men becomes a thing. Um, so yeah, what if series is is good? I mean, animation is great. I think Marvel's showing their 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 maturity in the animation department. They're doing a very good job. Uh, the voices are just it's, it it warms my heart to hear their voices again together. Um, I'll miss it. I'll definitely miss the banter between everybody. I feel like it was, it was a long trip, but I feel like it wasn't long enough. Um, damn, I'm glad <laughs> RDJ is in multiple what ifs because man, I was like, Ooh, what a roll. It's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great hearing his voice again. Yeah, yeah. He's just anyway. Um, going from there, uh, Marvel Revolutions, brand new game uh, that just came out mm, last week, Wednesday, Thursday. It was midweek. I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, it was like Wednesday Tuesday late night, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday. morning. Yeah. yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. It, it was it's great. Oh my god, is it fun? Did I spend money already? Uh huh. Um <laughs> I bought the battle pass. Uh, nice. And, and, yeah, I bought the battle pass, man. You know, and I bought a uh they, yeah, I bought the Cosmetic? battle upgraded battle pass. That's what I did. Okay. And I bought the there was something for twenty six dollars that was like dumb if you didn't get it they gave you Coins so much crap it was like a cosmetics daily, yeah it was like a daily give me you spend 26 dollars, get a hundred dollars worth of like stuff oh that's good over a course of time but you have to log in every day matter of fact let me log in right now if yeah. you don't log in you will lose that so yeah, you, you better, get a, you know, they you gotta make sure you, that you're dedicated to log in. It's a way to get people to log in and count their numbers every day. Let's be real, but they give you like a hundred dollars worth of stuff for twenty six bucks, and it, it's it's kind of dumb if you don't get it. Yeah. Um. Honestly, Net Marble did did a really good job of balancing what people consider pay to win. It's really not. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, you get more outfits and costumes in game than you do in the in the store. The yeah. store they have limited time only buys. Yep. Uh, the draw, where, I think it is. Uh, you know, you you only get what they have on a store for like 24 hours, I think. And it's if it's don't feel compelled to get every what. So the game we're talking about, chat, it's called Marvel Future Revolution. It is out now on Android and iOS devices. Um, it yeah. is it is free to play. Um, you get a you get a choice of I think six or seven different characters off rip. You got you got yeah. Spider Man, you got Star Lord, you got Captain yeah, Thor, America, Thor, Storm, Storm uh, Iron Man, and much much more. And it's the it's it's titled the first open world RPG mobile game by Marvel, and it yep. is very much like that. For instance, uh, yesterday I went in my first most wanted. 
um, um, raid or whatever you want to call it, uh, encounter with the Kingpin, and it was myself and like seven different Spider-Men, three different Iron Men. I didn't even know what was happening on screen, but it was absolutely <laughs> awesome. And and you, it's cool because your your um, your rewards for beating him is based on the day of beating him. You only really get one good reward a day. You can defeat him multiple times, yeah. but the big one is off the first off the rip and how much damage you do you get rankings on everyone that literally laid a hand on this most wanted and i was like round 10th because there's already people like at level 100 i'm like what the hell yeah, there's, there's dr people that strange is op think. by the way um what yeah. i've seen uh but yeah it is a really really Ooh. fun game dr strange oh yeah dr strange and storm i see that they're, they're yeah they're, they're they got good the aoe and very op um, you could start alliances, I think it's called, so you could bring in your friends and you can group up together in instances and attack people. The story, I've seen myself clicking a lot on. Like, I understand what they're doing. It's pretty cool, especially the beginning trailer. The graphics are insane. It's very, very much could be a, a PC, Xbox, or PlayStation game. Um, it is a fun, fun game. And, and if you're, a, if you're a, a comic book fan at all, I think it's a game you pick up and you'd be diving into. There's great dailies. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh, you're opening up one of the the, the boxes and chests. Yeah, yeah, one of the things I got. Yeah, it's yeah. Sick. I like. But, I mean, this is the graphics. Yeah, the graphics are insane. Yeah, like, Ooh. it's freaking insane, dude. Like, yeah, you got really, really good graphics. Uh, they actually have Baby Groot like from the movie in there. The 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 cosmetics here. I'm gonna bring Holy up my. Holy crap! I just got like a, a a whole bunch of stuff. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, God. it's it's awesome. It's. Highly recommend getting it. I yeah. mean, that was kind of like the beginning start of the week. Um, oh, let me lower that. Beginning start of the week when it comes when it came to video games and Marvel news, and we're gonna talk about another one here in a minute. But as far as uh, this, what character level are you right now? And what character are you? I you mean, are I, Storm, right? I literally right? just start. I didn't really get a chance to go in heavily with it. Um, so I don't even know how to tell you my character level. To be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> I think if you go, uh, like, when you, as soon as you sign in, it says lead here. Like, my Spider-Man, this is my Spider-Man chat. There's all different cosmetics, and you can mix and match them. So mm -hmm. that's my Spider-Man right there. It's part Scarlet Spider, part uh, different stuff, essentially. <laughs> um, I'm level 16. I'm power level 2100, 215. Um, I think if you go, wait for it, chat, wait for it. Yeah, like right now I have the Punisher Spider-Man suit. I don't even know. Nice. Um, but yeah, you can. There, there's there's so much cool crap. Um, uh, click the top. Game. Click the the top right where you see the superhero. It's like the third from the right. Top right superhero third from the on. Yeah, yeah. Like this is. I just logged in and this is the instance I'm in. Look at how many characters oh, I have. Uh, oh, top. Wait, you said top. So if right. you look at the top right, you have like the the box, your mail, the cart, gift box. What are you looking for? Level? Yeah, yeah. So if you click on the top oh. right, you're. Uh, it's like the character, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What is mm -hmm. it on the left hand side? It says level and power. Oh, my level is six, and I'm like eighteen thousand four hundred and thirty seven. Level like, six. I, I haven't at even 18... made it out. Of, I haven't even done my first mission. Yeah, yet. but level six at eighteen thousand is insane. I'm at twenty one yeah. at sixteen, so you're not far behind me as far as power. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's awesome. But it's, anyway, it's a really fun game. It's free to play. Obviously, there is pay to pay to stuff in it. It's not pay to win from what I've seen. Um, yeah, it's not pay to win. It's pay to it's it's. I mean, it's really pay to convenience and and pay to advance. I mean, if like if you everybody's stupid powerful in this game but if you spend the money you have chances chances it's a gotcha system uh to get certain rng certain outfits so that draw that i did is a daily draw that i get because like i said i spent the 26 dollars it gives you like a hundred dollars worth of stuff and i was like why not you have a daily draw to get like some cool ass outfits like i'll show you the uh like this right here uh, so I can get, like, yeah, yeah that's outfit. Awesome it's like the far east outfit. outfit it's sick as hell dude like that stuff right there you have a chance hold on am i in the frame hold yeah on. yeah no you're in frame you're in frame you're in frame now you go. got the uh that's like the spider-man that's the big time spider-man outfit yeah the too. big time yeah. spider-man outfit yeah so you have a chance to get those outfits and you have a daily draw to do that and um it's pretty awesome like your first time is free for me but the second time i gotta spend the 1800 gems yada yada but yeah 
it's, it's, it's really cool. I think I got my login reward finally. They give you crap. You're going to spend more time opening up shit in menus uh, because they give you so much free stuff than anything. Because what they want to do is they, they want to coddle you and baby you for you to feel like, uh, you know, you want to spend money. I mean, yeah. that's what they do. It's what every game does. And uh, honestly, you can go through this thing free to play without spending a dime and, and be just as powerful as everyone else. As, as long as you play the game, you just have to put more hours in. And then, uh, and then that's, that's like the battle that every MMO is going through right now is like, all right, so what? And oh, there's also a really cool thing that you can put your, you can put your game in sleep mode. And it auto progresses, top, right? Yeah, top menu hit sleep mode. And it does resting. Uh, I think you get rested experience and everything from it just by just being in it. Uh, so it'll say, there we go. You're in, it'll you're say in. resting. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, you can do that and Ooh. it doesn't eat your battery alive. I didn't that know up. that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm going to look into that. Pretty cool stuff, man. Like it's, it's, it's really, 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 really nice. Um, yeah, you can grind for every, there's, there's actually outfits in game that you can't buy period. Like there's, yeah. there's stuff in there that's like S tier and extremely powerful you have to grind out those raids and, and like it's you only got one chance a day to get it so yep um kudos to them man that marble knows how to make some name mobile games i want it on pc because to me this is going to replace omega that i miss i miss marvel omega so much um and what a what a better thing to put on pc right now people are getting people are already playing it on pc via third-party apps to be able to you know to remote into their their yeah. phone to their computer and play with a controller and stuff like that um, there's controller options now that wrap around your phone that you can use. It makes yep. it very, very easy to play. Um, it's really, really nice. And all the characters feel pretty balanced overall. I mean, Spider-Man, I think it, he doesn't do a lot of AOE. So obviously, like Storm and, and Doctor Strange, uh, even I think Captain Marvel at that point, uh, and Thor will probably do a little bit more damage if you pick Spider-Man. But I pick Spider-Man as I love Spider-Man, you know? Um, and, and the servers are always congested as hell. So I, oh, I yeah, I mean... Hydra east and that one's already congested and that was a brand oh, new I'm on hydra just, too. yeah yeah they just they literally just push a new hydra out and it's already done it's congested uh, kudos so, to them they they did a great job mm. that team danny Koo and and all them over there at at marvel games yeah, did an awesome yeah. job with net marble making this but mm -hmm. um if you look uh if you look a little bit forward um it was funny last week i think we kind of brought it up when we talked about you know what is the next studio what is the next thing that we're going to see out for marvel games we've already got two spider-man yeah. movies we got marvel avengers we know guardians yeah. of the galaxy came out and then all of a sudden out of nowhere at gamescom we were we were hit with something we were mm -hmm. hit with uh a nice little trailer and preview of a game coming out from 2k and Firaxis, uh, best known for XCOM, mm -hmm. um, called Midnight Suns. Side note, the music to this trailer is awesome, and I'm 100% downloading that song, uh, the Enter yeah. Sandman uh, uh, remix or, or cover. But um, we're getting a, let me see, what did you say here? It's called Midnight Suns, which is based on a comic book series oh, back Midnight in the- Midnight Suns, like the sun in the sky, but the actual team is Midnight Suns with S-O-N. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's 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 based off. I mean, it, it really got introduced with Ghost Hunter, which doesn't get enough love. Ghost Hunter just doesn't get love at all. Um, he's just one of those characters that kind of just, eh, you know, he's just like eh, one of those characters. Um, but Midnight Suns, it, the focus is all the all all the heroes that are focused around supernatural. Yeah, so you got like Blade and Iron Man, Wolverine, Captain America, Magic, Nico, uh, Ghost Rider. Captain Marvel, and the Hunter, who they are resurrecting right now. Uh, waking up from her slumber, I should say, uh, who's the daughter of Lilith, who's the mother of demons. Yep. Um, really weird that they're introducing. I mean, I know Lilith has a lot to do. First of all, I'm just kind of like, why? Uh, why? Why this? Um, yeah, it's I an interesting. Don't... It's an interesting route, right? Like, so for those of you who don't know, it's it's the the game is going to be. I believe it's a single player focus. I could be wrong. I don't believe there's a co-op yeah, or multiplayer not, I don't think to it's multiplayer. I think from what I've read, but it's it's, it's a tactical RPG. Now, for those of you who don't know, what tactical RPGs are. It's not like what we were just talking about with with um. That's a dope shot right there. Uh, it's mm. not like what we were just talking about with Marvel Revolutions. Correct me if I'm wrong, Fag. It, it's pretty much exactly what XCOM is. 
it's procedural, yeah, right? So. You 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 have your set of characters. You have a level or play area that you're within. You're gonna bring them around to where the enemies are. You're gonna select what you're gonna do. Your role is done. Your turn is done. Then the it's opposing turn-based. team does. Yeah. It's a back and forth process like this. Something that we haven't seen from Marvel. I mean, not even when you talk about Alliance or anything like that. This is very different. I don't even think there was a DC game like this, if I remember correctly. Um, and we're supposed to get our first glimpse of gameplay on the 1st of September yeah, and I don't remember what time. So 11.30 a.m. PT. So 2.30 Eastern. So, I mean, the cinematic looks great. Uh, obviously, when you're talking about in-game, it is going to be clearly a lot different. But, um, yeah, it's funny. We talked about it last week. What are we going to see? And then we get and then we get this. I'm, I'm intrigued by it because it's definitely something different. This is necessarily not one of those game types that I've played, I think, ever. I wasn't really a big uh, gamer in, in in the XCOM universe. Like, I see it, I understand it, but I never really played it. I mean, um, the story is intriguing that they're going this route because this is something I wouldn't have expected. And Lilith looks pretty damn dope, too, in here, too. So what do you think? never not a big fan of XCOM um I'm a huge CRPG player like dun- like the Dungeons and Dragons uh runoffs like uh Pillars of Eternity Path of uh Path of Exile not Path of Exile what was it called uh Pillars of Eternity excuse me Pillars of Eternity and and uh Divinity Original Sin 2 Divinity, and yeah. Baldur's Gate you know I played all those I think CRPG would have been mwah, chef's kiss because then if you had the if you had uh Oh, what are they called? Uh, Larian Studios. I can't remember the, the name. Larian Studios. If you had Larian Studios work on an like this game, it would have been a CRPG. And granted, they're still working on Baldur's Gate Three. Maybe they were even pitched the idea, and and they just didn't have time to do it because of Baldur's Baldur's Gate Three. I kind of wish I would I would have enjoyed that more because then you got multiple people playing the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can have up to eight people in a party and play in Divinity Original Sin Two, which is absolute chaos. But four people co-op would have been dope and you are both you making decisions for your character rather than making decisions for all the characters and mm-hmm. XCOM is hard as hell bro like the the difficulty yeah. scaling of XCOM is just astronomically hard so I think those hardcore XCOM fans will love it but I, I just think I think Marvel people Marvel fans will pick it up but uh Fraxis Studios was given this game as their own universe huh Another universe, another gaming universe. Um, so they picked this to do. Not a big fan of the setting. Um, at Lilith is not that big of a threat. I mean, you would think she was because she goes all the way back to biblical yeah. days of, of of the Marvel universe, and uh, uh, it was in leagues with Satan, so to speak. And, yep. uh You know, the mother of demons, and 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 she always loses though. She always gets her ass kicked in many situations, Never and wins. and barely, and she barely. Barely loses, but she's always losing, and and uh, maybe she's just fed up, and now she's trying to bring up how her master, who is uh, I hate saying his name, the fool, Catham or yeah, he, you, you or... see him in this trailer. There's a little pan through and pan yeah. out where you see the 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 octopus head or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's not Cthulhu, but uh, Cthon or whatever they call him, who's uh, the elder god of Mar- Marvel Comics, like god of death or something yeah. like that um so she's trying to resurrect him uh you know to win essentially and you and and we couldn't fight her alone so we had to bring her daughter who's the hunter um who's seen a lot in like a lot of blade and stuff like that all of all of these are just supernatural stuff so anybody has anything to do with supernatural or in or in it like i said dr strange iron man wolverine captain america uh magic nico captain marvel blade and the hunter which I'm happy to see Blade finally in a damn video game. Jesus, yep. such a cool character. I really hope they put Blade in Marvel Avengers. God, I hope Blade was in Avengers before a lot of people, by the way, especially before Spider-Man. So anyway, I really hope they put Blade in the Avengers video game. And I think the more and more uh, characters we get in Avengers, the more people are going to be more apt to. Avengers already like up their sales and up their player count and everything has been going very, very well with them. They got some bugs they need to work out. Um, but other than that, I think I think Avengers is starting to now get that traction yeah. that they wanted when the game full, when the game initially originally released. Uh, they still have some 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 uphill climb. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, you know, her. I, I put her Marvel score in our notes, and her durability is six. So she has a she has a really high durability. I mean, because she's a goddess, so she doesn't die easy. That's for sure. Yeah. But she's really not that big of a thing. Her energy is five, which is still high, which means she could. She has. She's a spell based character. Her fighting skills are two. Her intelligence five, which means she's not dumb. Um, and her, her, I think it's, uh, this is out of seven points or seven or eight points, I believe that Marvel rates their thing. Her speed is three and her strength is four. So she's not the biggest. She's not the fight, biggest man. big bad. Yeah. yeah, she's just not. I mean, you have heroes that have a better power rating than she does. I think it's more of the threat that she I believe she is going to succeed in the game. Or at least I hope so. in bringing her her master back, so to speak, and, and he's going to be the bigger threat. Yeah. Um, because they always do this in, in, in the next common Marvel films where they show a, a, a bad, but they're not the big bad, and they lead into the big bad. So, uh, you know, whatever. The more, the more comic book, you know, things, the better. Um, yeah. I think they have a lot of characters in there that need love, like the Hunter, Blade, Magic, Nico, uh, and, um, and I think those are about it. I the think ones the that really need love. I think the one cool thing Boring. that comes out of this is you see X-Men and more obscure characters that that, mm -hmm. that aren't the Avengers being being on the forefront of of a video game and hopefully this will lead into uh, it's probably not going to be the same universe but different universes um getting more games from the Marvel uh slate. You know, I would love to see an actual x-men game even if you even mm. if it is a, a marvel avengers style that's out there and it's in two separate Bro, worlds or, or a single uh, yeah, player yeah like, yeah yeah i'm down for that even if it's I like really a, want a multi they have to do a multiplayer x-men game i mean I'm, or even a fantastic four that's kind of like a batman arkham um or what is going to be a gotham knights what's comes out right where it's co-op but it's single you can go back and forth like i love that that marvel is now with this really branching off because it is so um um yeah. obscure they're sinking their teeth into yeah. so many avenues right now and i mean video games is bigger than movies right now yeah. and you know it's dumb to not be in this market when we're gonna get a, you know i i just want insomnia to take care of spider-man and just only be them like i just don't want anybody else making another spider-man it's yeah. just gonna detract from that other studios need to like I love that Guardians of the Galaxy is is a thing because we we didn't think of that. And I think That's... if they keep revisiting things we don't think about, it's just gonna prep us from video games to come. And I, and if Marvel yeah. has a hand in all this and they're just like, Yeah, let's do Midnight Suns because that's something that we won't touch, but we can start getting people prepared for Wolverine and Blade. Yeah. And the Hunter. That'd be great. You know, so I I kinda like the the, the where they're going about. Um And it's interesting. Want... It's interesting mm -hmm. that they also have Wolverine and, and X Men in here because yeah. like I this is this really shows how separated it is from from the movies. Even though they they have a cogn they even though they're looking at what's happening in the movies and I'm sure there's back and forth between I think it's Bill Roseman who's head of Marvel Games and Kevin Feige at some point yeah. going back and forth. But like I remember reading articles before What If came out or right as soon as Episode One like they were told. Like they could do pretty much whatever they want, but here's certain things that are off hand, off limits. And it was X Men and Fantastic Four. It was those type of things. But mm -hmm. it's nice to see this in games now. Whether that's hey something's gonna happen, or or if it's just like video games are literally on its own now. Like you don't have to worry about anything. Either way, it's nice to see these characters coming back because we haven't seen a lot of these characters in a video game since Marvel Alliance that BRM set. Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's been a long time since we've seen some of these characters. I don't as as for your question about Ultimate Alliance 3, I don't think that game can survive in this yeah. in this era. Um I think Marvel Ultimate Alliance was great for when it came out. We yes. were all on consoles back then. It was online was new, it was fresh, people were just playing it to play. I think now in the digital future where we are when it comes to like multiplayer games online you almost have to introduce it as an open world concept to where it's so much custom customizable uh, stuff that you can place to make your characters unique and stuff i think what we need now is a superhero either a superhero mmo uh based yeah. on these universes where we can create our own character to get more people involved in the, in, in the universe of comics or we need to have a big large scale high production and i'm talking about high production um experience like insomniac spider-man's uh spider-man like those those i don't i don't i think ultimate alliance can work on like the switch or something something that's made to be played with other people handheld 
you know something that you don't Phone. sink a thousand hours into but still have fun i think the switch is perfect for that that's why i think marvel revolution needs to be released on the switch it's the perfect marriage because yeah. the switch is a mobile unit with mobile infrastructure they could just port that junk over with the graphics they currently have and it'll look better than half the stuff that's on the switch but i i think that's where we need to go um i know it's like wanting marvel vs. capcom two to come back into reality it's yeah. like back then it was glorious and i think that's what we're living off of is the nostalgia of that they tried versus introducing it now will it really be that great because marvel vs. capcom 3 was the three in infinite infinite marvel vs. Yeah, capcom infinite, infinite was, was four was uh, just it was wow. horrible they they didn't do justice to that they yeah. just didn't give it the love that they gave Marvel. we don't want the everyone wants to go 3d give me the 2d sprites again dude that's what made that game awesome you know so it's yeah, it's it's a rough it's a rough thing. Everybody wants to play ball in the same court instead of like branching off and doing their own things. I think people shit all over Marvel Avengers, but I think Marvel Avengers they had the they had the the balls per se to make a game that they knew they knew that they were gonna get stomped on. Yeah. But at least they created it because if we didn't have Marvel Avengers, nobody would do it and 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 i honestly give kudos out to crystal dynamics and square enix for opening the gates to say hey it's okay to make these l large 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 franchise video games and take the heat and still keep going because yeah. disney's just giving them money because they believe in the project and i think that's people people need to pay more owed to that more than just the game itself it's like hey at least crystal dynamics and, and square enix had the balls to put this yeah. out there and Believe it or not, they started something. Same as Insomniac. You know, people... I remember when Insomniac first announced Spider-Man, like, oh, God, another Spider-Man game. Another Spider-Man game, I remember game. that. Yep. But then everybody went and shut up about it. They were like, holy crap, this thing is awesome. Because I remember when they showed at E3, people were like, oh, another game where you just press buttons while he's doing all the cool stuff. You know, like the, the cinematic interactive scenes. Uh, but And people love Spider-Man, so... Yep. Yeah. Once know. we got that gameplay, it was like, oh, God, this is different. Yeah. I think open world, yeah, open world games with more playable characters, yeah. I think that's that's why Avengers exists, is think about an open world game with X-Men characters, you know, without having without having the hype behind a movie to drive the game. And I think that's the... X-Men suffered from that. They always had video games that are, like, pushing the game. I mean, in the video games, excuse me, movies pushing movies the game. Pushing the TV game, series yeah. pushing the game. And they always uh, had to relate to those. And who wants that? I think you that's... Know? I think Netmarble's... Uh, and Marvel's mm -hmm. uh, Marvel Revolution, uh, Future Revolution, and probably Midnight Suns to, Suns to an extent are probably going to lead us into something. You know, Marvel, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marvel, regardless of what it is, has a plan. And and you know what? A lot of people loved. I forgot. I forgot about it. But there was an MMO, DC Online. Um, like there, like that is. They're still going. And they're still going. And I, if if Marvel really wants to hit that market, look at everything that they did wrong. And because they did a lot of stuff wrong, especially at the beginning, or even Champions Online. Remember Champions Online oh back in the God, day? I love that game. Yeah, like, I love like, like that there's, game. There's, there's an avenue for Marvel to do <laughs> something on a bigger scale. Uh, that yeah. that you know, look at the look at look at how much love. City um, of Heroes. Um, City of Heroes. Sorry, yeah, Series Heroes. Um, um, even even a uh, New World is getting right now. Like, yeah. if you could do Marvel, if they could find the right studio. To, to work with and I don't know what studio that is to be honest with you. It would have to be a collaboration. It would, it would have to be if a full some, collaboration. If Insomniac yeah. got with, with Crystal Dynamics. Oh, yeah. Take me. Yeah, but like, that but that's but the both studios don't know how to build that. That's the whole thing. Like you I don't would know. You would I have to Crystal hire Dynamic out. and I think I think the infrastructure stuff based off of what they're doing is is a first where they're going with it. So their infrastructure and stuff is going to be shaky, just like it is. The matchmaking and stuff is going to be shaky. People are going to want to go. Think about it like this. You say, hey, guys, we're making a Marvel open world multiplayer game. Don't even call it an MMO. Just like a multi world, a open world multiplayer game. People are automatically going to, the matchmaker is going to suck because everyone's going to want to cross play, cross save. Like people's demands are so high these days. And I don't yeah. think, I don't think consumers don't look at it this way. I think they look at it like, I want, I want. We're like that little girl that's our birthday, you know, give it to me. <laughs> so we don't look at how much trouble it is to get cross place across save to be a thing. If I'm gonna tell you right now what save destiny, 
when Destiny announced that cross save cross play, it was over. They people came back to Destiny hardcore. Like right now, all I see on my feeds are Destiny's oh god, like Destiny this. And it took Destiny to break away from Activision to be able to make this possible. And then look at how long it took them to get it to work. You have to not only get yourself, um, you not only have to get yourself involved in being in the market, but you also have to get Sony to play ball, Xbox to play ball. Uh, if you introduce Sony Switch, play ball. Uh, the PC revolution to play ball. And everybody has to be on it and willing to spend money on it then you have to make sure the investors want to spend money on it. So it's, it's, a, hard, it's a hard thing to push. It's really a hard thing to push. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's something that we may have see in the future. Who knows? Who knows? I would like to see, I would like to see what Marvel has next phase for their, mm -hmm. for their video games because right now we're at a unique point where the, we are seeing them branch out into different areas, right? Whether it be okay, this guy, this is a bot. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete yep. this. Boink. There we go. Anyway, thank you. Sorry, guys. We got dumb bots. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So but, with with that, the next phase of Marvel, I think, is starting today with with Midnight Suns. How they are branching off into a little bit something that's different. That's not a first player experience or Marvel yeah. Resolu Revolutions. How it's a very big open world. RPG on mobile um, outside of, you know, single player campaigns that we've seen throughout the years or most recently with Guardians of the Galaxy and Spider-Man, they're starting to branch out. So the next phase of their universe in video games is exciting um, and how it's so different from DC where it's Gotham Gotham Knights, which I'm excited for. Uh, it's, it's in the Arkham realm. I'm excited about it. I, I like that gameplay and Rocksteady doing something again, but it's Arkham with um um uh justice league versus uh suicide squad like do something different i love them yeah but do something different but we'll see what Honestly, happens we'll see what happens i want people to be more like crystal dynamics and screeners and hate me for yeah. saying it but they took a chance that's what i'm talking about i want more studios to take chances with these ips and and really dig yeah, deep and, and you know you, sometimes you gotta throw stuff at the wall and see if it sticks it's just like what if, <laughs> funny enough, no pun intended. <laughs> All pun intended. Uh, uh, Rockstar had rights to a Marvel thing, and they told an origin story, and it was dark. Yeah. Or, or DC. What if Rockstar took over a DC project, heck, let's just say Batman, and gave us that Rockstar treatment of like Red Dead Redemption, but with Batman, and you got to see him develop as Batman, and the choices you made created your, your destiny, your path down the road. I, hell, I would buy into it. I'd be like, this is interesting. This is yeah. very out there. Like, I've never thought. You know, so I would love for studios that not knowing. I mean, XCOM never, ever in my whole entire life thought I'd ever see this. Yeah, no, me either. I, I'm 100%. interested. Will I buy it day one? Probably not. I'd probably wait until I get a little bit more hype about it. But it's coming out soon. It's like March. Well, I mean, the, that's going to be here before we know it. Dude, that is <laughs> uh, actually, you know, side note, do, like looking into it, like, we knew that this these next couple of months were going to be big, especially yeah. in October. October, yeah. February, October, looking at February right now, there yeah. is a lot of games coming out in February as well, yeah. too. So, like, you know, it's the biggest like one in February that I read. Uh, well, we got Horizon Forbidden West coming out February. Yeah. You got the new season of Destiny on the 22nd. Those actually hit the mm -hmm. same day, I believe. There's something at the beginning of February. I forgot. Yeah, that. there's something at the beginning of February that was like, that's really big. Yeah. That is not something that you're like, yeah, okay. It's something really, I just can't remember the top yeah, of my there's, head. Yeah, there's there's three, that would be four, and then I think there's one or two <sighs> other ones. Like, you know, it's it's funny. Video games are very cyclical when it comes to, video games are very cycle-driven when it comes to when the big releases are, and you're starting to see the shift. I know this is not comic books, but it's still our realm, right? It's like, it's, it's always October, November, right? Just, uh, uh, Halo's coming out in December, which is interesting. Um... You get yeah, you, you, we usually didn't get anything in August and September. Now we kind of are. So mm -hmm. it's like it's changing because video games are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Kind of like movies. You would have never released Spider-Man 10 years ago in December. It would have to be a May, June, October, or July November. blockbuster. No, May, June, or July blockbusters, right? Oh, it was true. always that's summer true. Yeah. blockbusters. June and July. Yeah. That was like Will Smith days. Yeah. 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 Well, the funny thing is, is like, 
those are the announced games. You still oh, got yeah, sleeper no hits that idea. slap harder than the triple A's. Like Fire Team uh, or Alien Fire Team Elite. Yeah. That game slaps. I'm having so much fun with it. And that thing didn't even have marketing. <laughs> like, yeah. I, one one day, trailer I and that was and it. I was like, hey, I watch your stream. I want you to play Aliens. I was like, okay. I love the <laughs> Aliens universe. Yep. Like, I wish there was more behind it. Like, and then the fact that the that that game takes place in be like twenty years after like Alien Three and still had, and then Three Sixty loops you around to the engineers and Prometheus and shit, which didn't get good reviews. I enjoyed it. It's I'm a good lore fan, but I was setting, just like, yeah. whoa! And and they fill in the gaps with the lore. That's a huge license going to a studio with forty five developers yeah there wasn't a lot of people which was great to hear what? too like that is a lot that and is a good. game made out of love bugs, but it's good yeah so uh, those that's the stuff that i'm kind of like i'm more excited for the things that we haven't heard about like death loop coming out bro dude i'm so and excited you know, for that those game games? so excited for death loop yeah oh it's i think february is uh the, 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 the vampire game the shooter oh the, the, like, the br the br one no, it's not a BR. It's like it's a shooter. It's like a team shooter game. Empire oh my god! It came out of E3, and everybody was like, "What is this?" It's like End of Days, or I can't remember the name of it, but it had like very unique character designs. The main character was a black chick with an afro. Everybody was like loving oh, her. Oh, you're talking about the one from Xbox and uh, um, uh, yeah. Redfall. Red Falls. Red Falls. Yeah, I think that's February, isn't it? I think it's uh, February. I don't think that has a date for it yet, if I believe, because that's from Arcane and that's from Bethesda. That's yeah. what it is, yeah. But that's like, yeah, that's a huge title. Summer that... 2022, sorry, summer, that's summer. Oh, summer 2022, okay, so still. But that those are like huge titles that we don't think about because we're just thinking about the, the big triple A's. Yeah. Um, and Starfield is, is going to be dropping, Elden Ring. Is When is Elden Ring? I think Elden Ring may be February. February? I, I think... think that's the one that I'm just like, that's the, that's the monster. January, Let's oh see, no, that's uh... January 21st. Huh? That's January 21st, that's, damn, that's coming out of January? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, January 21st, they announced it, I think, at GamesCon. Yeah. And you're talking about something that's huge. Yeah. Oh, no, no, they announced that. They announced that in June. That's right. Something that's huge. I mean, that game right there is probably the most anticipated. I want to say probably the most anticipated game to come out in uh, next year because people from software is just, everyone's just itching from anything from, from software can. T take a game about moldy bread and people would be like my god this is gonna be the best thing ever um <laughs> i the one thing i need from software to do for me is tenchu oh geez and that's all i need I them to do that name in a while. like please do tenchu you can relate it to secular world i don't care but just give me tenchu anyway but um but yeah so we're gonna take the last uh five minutes <laughs> five, oh shit yeah seven yeah, minutes we to, went off. to just have a couch talk Feel free to uh, say anything in the chat, guys. If you got, if you want us to have a little talk moment about, please feel free to give that up. Also, uh, questions, comments, concerns. Um, I always like to, like I said, I like introducing new things. So this week, what we're going to do is talk about what we've been playing and what we've been interested in. Matt, you go first. What have you been playing, what you've been interested in? It doesn't have to be comic related, just like kind of like get to know the host type thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. So. I found my love for Apex again, uh, and it's not Ooh. in the, it's not in the, the BR actually. I really like their 3v3 arena mode. There's just mm. something about it where you get in, you know how long the game is going to be. Um, there's different aesthetics to it, whether you're with teammates or or you're diving in with teammates that you know or not. There's just something about it using your abilities, the right the right uh, um, the right uh, uh, legend that you're using. There's it's it's a fun, quick hitter. Um, I know mm -hmm. BRs is still all the rage when you talk about shooters, but for some reason this part of it I've been really diving into a lot and and really 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 enjoying. Um, no. Outside of that. Um, Outside of streaming and video games, um, I've been really finding myself, and we talk about you talked about this a little bit when you're uh, when you stopped uh, uh, when you quit your full time job to go full time streaming. But yeah, yeah. man, I have I have been so happy. I've gotten back to working out again. It is I mm -hmm. forgot how much of a stress relief working out is, and and finding mm -hmm. myself again and working on myself. If you don't, if you haven't chat, you know it doesn't mean you have to work out or eat right, but just. Just try to be better yourself or work on yourself, I think is a better term. I've been trying to do that daily. Um, and it's it's definitely made a big at change in my life. I, I I work out at home. I'm not going to the gym. I have I have yeah, weights yeah, and everything. Yeah. I've had it here for a while. I got in-home workout routines that I use, Beachbody oh. and all that stuff. And 
Um, I've definitely seen a change in me when I talk about it, either um, physically, weight-wise, or whatever. But mm. mentally, I feel like it's really helped me out. And I know in this world right now, uh, you know, mental health is a big thing. But so that's one of the things I've been working on outside of playing cool. video games and my kids and my family. I mean, yeah, it's you know, my family is everything. <laughs> that's why we were a little late today. Apologies, chat. Oh no, it no, was no, a no. two kid, uh, yeah, yeah, two kid yeah, breakdown cool. before. What about yeah, you, Frank? I, I, I know you've been I've been all over the place with a bunch of different things. Mm. Yeah, I uh yeah, you know, the, the I'm I've been trying to get I wanted to go to a gym physically, but people are just not sanitary. They don't wear the mask and shit, and it's just really annoying being the only one there that cares. They don't even wipe off shit at the gym anymore. Like I I I'm just so over it. It's not up to the staff to do it. You need to do it. I mean, it's like a rule. But uh and people don't put weights up. It's just it's just super annoying. I get super annoyed with people lately. I I've noticed that I'm just like have zero patience with people. Uh so I try to avoid them. Um so I, I bought yeah, I, I it's funny how you said I got these gigantic five hundred dollar weights sitting next to me. Damn. Um and they're dumbbells. It's a pair of dumbbells for five hundred bucks. Uh but they have is there they go up to like five hundred pounds or something. They're like interchangeable dub dumbbells oh. they're very, very expensive. It's the same thing that Brie Larson uses. I didn't know. I think uh, I, I know what you're talking about, yeah. I was on Amazon. Yeah, they're like little blocks. They're they're very good investment, um, to be honest with you, because uh, I don't have to worry about buying a whole rack of dumbbells, um, which is going to cost me more money. So, like, because dumbbells can cost you between thirty to forty five dollars for the small ones, and then like the bigger ones cost you in the hundreds. So, yeah, depending depending uh, on the weight, depending on what yeah. type you're getting. Obviously, there's different mm -hmm. brands. Like, if you're going to get a a t shirt, right? You're you're yeah, absolutely yeah. right, especially if yeah. you're. It, I like. I think I. I mean, I can just imagine which ones you have, and that's really nice. And yeah, to have, yeah, it's also so versatile would, on what you're doing. Power power blocks. Yeah, I've right seen there. those. Those are dope. Yeah, those they're are very dope. very good. So I mean, you know, I'm gonna mess with that stuff. It's just the mental, the mental of getting myself back in a weight room. Um, you know, seeing old pictures of myself like pre college and college, I was a freaking monster. I. I it's hard to think that you can go back to that, and it's hard to get started. You always tell yourself tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And it's just not, you know, it's not enough time in the day. You got to make time. So I just got to get yeah. myself mentally prepared to 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 be consistent. And um, the only thing that's really going to do that is when you start seeing big results True. at the end of the day. You know, True. that's what I feel. Uh, other than that, I've been getting into a BR too. I've been playing Naraka a lot, which is a martial art BR. And yeah. um, let me tell you, man. I'm kicking some butt in that game, but it's <laughs> only because it takes me back to my Blade and Soul days when I was competitive, and um, it's got the movement of Blade and Soul, especially the dagger, and that's my baby. I remember I got an argument with a guy that came in my chat saying the dagger was trash and stuff. I was like, bro, it's because it's trash for you. don't mean it's trash for me, and this dude just literally got mad because I like dagger. Like, I'm dealing with that, okay? <laughs> but uh, other than I'm that, here it's for a 3v3. It. I mean, it's, it goes, you can do singles and trios. There's no duos yet um but it's super fun man it's like the br i don't like brs that much but it's the br i can get into because it's very very much skill based and it's um, is that is that the game where a certain character or maybe your own you have like um a grapple that you can get on yeah, top of grapple yeah it's i like remember a I, I, BR yeah I, 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 yeah I watched you watch it i watched you the other day i remember uh big cheese kit mm, played it like mm. a month ago i remember seeing it. i was like oh wow mm. this is this is a, a unique take yeah. on br and i like how I like how more studios are going that route where it's not just shooters like Fortnite, Call yeah. of Duty. That We have that Vampire Blood Hunter one coming out where you're a vampire. You played that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it. like there's different Sorry. versions of BR that are coming out, Battle Royales, and I like how people are getting um, a creative with it because it's just going to be yeah. great for that genre. Yeah, it's really fun. I play it a lot. I mean, it's, it's very unlike me, and it's very unlike my audience to like it, but they, they love it, man. They, they love it. Um, they said cool. that because it's not because it's very related to MMOs and, yeah. and RPGs. The way you build your character, you get theory craft and stuff like that, and weapon based or whatever. You could change around and stuff. There's some things in there that I don't like. Like you could spam. Like the spear is just OP as hell. You can <laughs> find ways to spam it, and people never counter it unless oh, you're playing man. one one character. But whatever. Those are very minuscule things to, to you know to hate. <clears throat> uh, other than that, been playing a lot of MMOs lately because there's that. That's all that's relating, uh, releasing right now, and I'm very, Seems I mean, way, yeah. I'm in heaven. I mean, dude, it's been a scary time for MMOs in the past two years, so to see them all just pop up out of nowhere is great. Uh, we got New World Open Beta coming out on September 9th yep. uh, through the 12th. I'm not going to be trying to get to no max level again. I'm done with that, um, but I will be messing around with builds and finding out what build I want to run and finding Ooh, out my path that I want to take while leveling. Uh, so that which I'm going to take my time, but be efficient. It's the ninth, mm -hmm. and then it releases later that month. What they 28. said. Yes. Okay. Uh, 20, 
29. Yeah, 28. 28. Ilion comes out on the 29th, which I feel like is a better game. Ooh. Essentially, for people that want more of a theme park MMO, a lot of people think New World's going to do amazing and it will but it's a very niche game it's not a, it's a lot of people are going to get involved with it for two weeks and then kind of back off of it um because that game, they're going to find out that game is very niche it's not your typical mmo ilion on the other hand is your typical mmo but the combat in ilion oh it's leagues away from a new world like way better uh, it's almost embarrassingly better and uh the open world events are just way cooler i'm very surprised this ilion was on the brink of death being called uh, uh, Air Infinite Realm back in the day. And that game is like, I don't know, probably 10 years. No, I don't want to say 10. I think it's like six to seven years old. And they, re they remastered it and redid it because it didn't do well in Korea under, under what they were. And now it's doing very well. And it's going to do very well here. So that game is there. Um, and I've been checking that out here and there. But after the beta, Final Fantasy 14, best MMO in the world. So you've been playing that, that yep. Um, enjoying it, man. Just... I, I was fishing last night at, at 1 a.m. in the morning, just fishing. <laughs> like, it's so calming, and the, they don't have music play while you fish. They have ambiance of, like, the crickets oh, and the water cool. and stuff like that. And it's, dude, it's I was soothing. just like, damn, this is so relaxing. And I had a stream up on the side. I was just prop my feet up on my speaker, and I was just freaking, <laughs> like, going at it, bro. Just fishing. It was fun. It was great. Oh, so that's what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of mental repairing, man. Good, um, man. Yeah. So, you know, thinking about the future... Thinking about babies and stuff, you know, and if you got any questions, <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm probably gonna hit you up because I'm I'm scared, bro. I don't know what the first thing to do. I'm like, how do you figure out when the baby needs to go to the doctor? Like, how do you, dude, how do you, do you, do you, do you, what do you put on your baby's ass that doesn't cause cancer nowadays? Like, yeah. I, it's just oh, that's that's man, all my that's wife too. World, She's bro. all I can take BPA. care of a cat and a dog, but damn, a baby. She, dude, I, I had I, I obviously here. I had I didn't have the first clue about it either, man, and. And like, I, I always know, used bro. to gag with throw up and poop and everything, but I was em. like, I, I'm actually the one that does everything now. It's insane. But yeah, yeah. My, my, but actually yes, funny yeah. story about you. If you have any questions, my wife is very much into like the non BPA. Everything's organic, obviously oh, go, go. all that cancer yeah, we'll, stuff. We'll so so like up, bro, we, dude, we did everything. It's, it's all cost a little bit extra money, but uh, anything for your kids, man. That's, that's the one thing I've learned. Dude, this anything is why for your kids. I save money. I'm fickle for a reason. I'm, people ask Good. why I don't buy myself and do stuff for myself because you gotta you gotta build that foundation, man. And prepare nesting. for the future. I'm, yep. Uh, I'm scared, but it's something I want to do because you know it's not only for me; it's for my parents. You know they're not gonna be here forever, and it hurts to think that. But I want to at least bring something in their lives that they both can like enjoy, and and you know my wife's side of the family and stuff. So it's it's something that you're kind of just like, eh. yeah. it's just something. But I think once you pop the first, it's kind of crazy how people's like, I don't want kids, and they go to having kids, and then then they want multiple kids. It's just really weird. Um, it's you know you you yeah. i think you know when you want another one and i think you also know mm -hmm. when you're done it's sad when you know you're done because you never want to say that because you have the kid in front of you and everything and yeah but yeah it's uh i know this isn't the topic <laughs> but you're getting to know us you're getting well, to know it's us more like that's know kind of it. i think yeah. it's very important to to bring out our our lives a little bit outside of oh yeah i mean comics and gaming comics, because yeah. we're, we're humans at the end of the day and you know <laughs> It's it's weird, and I'm gonna leave you guys with this thought. We're all getting older because we already passed time. I'll be 40 in two years. Yeah, that's crazy to me because I never thought. I still feel like a child compared oh, to my yeah. father, oh, where yeah. he was at my age. He was a man's man, yep. and I'm still feeling like a kid here. I'm like man. I'm playing video games. I'm thinking about comics. I don't know the first thing about taking care of a kid. But at the end of the day, man, I know it's going to come naturally. I know we have, we're built off of instincts and stuff. But at the end of the day, man, it's like life is going way too fast. I used to remember sitting in class and the clock was going backwards. Now it's just yeah, fast forwarding. And, and you think you have time and you don't. So everyone should just take that time. But anyway, closing statements. Um, we have a lot of stuff coming up in the future. If you guys see anything that you want to cover, make sure you do give it to us. Uh, feel free to put it on our Twitter. We have a comics Twitter uh, that will be available soon. Yeah, uh, courtesy of Rare Drop. Thanks for getting that. And a, and a TikTok and all kinds of stuff coming around. Look for the marketing coming up for the grand opening of everything coming uh, in the near future. Uh, but uh, I'm Technique. It's great to have you guys here. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, if you want to follow me, twitch.tv slash Technique with no U, no E. On Twitter, Technique TV. Add a T and a V at the end. Matt, uh, you got anything else to say? 
Yeah, I'm Nighthawk Plays everywhere, uh, whether it's on Twitch, Facebook, <clears throat> Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter. Uh, you can check me out uh, daily as well as Frank. Frank's more of the nighttime guy. I'm more of the morning guy. Or two o'clock. Two o'clock. Oh yeah, you two, literally come tonight. on as soon as I'm done, which is hilarious. But yeah, you'll yeah, be you'll yeah. be live streaming right after this. So if you want to bring right the conversation over to him, uh, you know, feel free. Just give him you know a couple minutes to grab some coffee and some food. But uh, yep. we got a lot of cool things coming up that I'm very excited for. Uh, interviews, more guests. We've been really working behind the scenes on that, not to spoil anything. So. Be on the lookout. We're going to be talking to more Marvel, more comic books, more indie stuff over the next couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, I think with that being said, uh, chat, we got, a, we got a fun week ahead of us, and we look forward to seeing you ahead next week at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on The Mix. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Bye.